an object M traveling at VO to the east collides with another object of three times the M and traveling at twice the VO to the south. They stick together after the collision. Find their final velocity after the collision. It's a collision problem, so we're going to use the conservation of momentum. And uh, it's a two-dimensional problem. That means uh, we should look at the one direction at a time. Initially, there is a x direction momentum for the 1m, but not the 3m. So the initial momentum in the x direction is just 1m times vo. After the collision, since they stick together, all together we would have 4m moving. So if the 4m has a velocity in the x direction, that's vx, we'll be able to solve for the vx. We cross out the 1m and then divide by 4 on both sides. So the x component of the final velocity must be vo divided by 4. It is positive. That means it's in the same direction as this vo to the right. In the y direction, before the collision, 1m does not have any momentum in the y direction, but the 3m does. So the initial momentum is 3m times 2vo. After the collision, there will be 4m moving together, and its final velocity y component is vy. Again, m's cancel, and we'll be able to find the y component. Divided by 4 on both sides, we'll get 3 halves VO. Positive, so it should be in the same direction as this positive 2VO, which means it is southward. So we can answer the final velocity at the end of the collision by components. The two components will be VO over 4 to the east and uh, a 3 halves VO to the south. We can answer by components like these two, or we can answer by magnitude and the direction. To find the magnitude, we have to add these two components together, and the diagonal is our sum. So this will be the square root of the x component squared plus the y component squared. And this will give us uh, about 1.52 VO. If we want to use an angle to show the direction, for example, I can use uh, this angle right here. For this angle, we know the adjacent side is VO over 4. The opposite side is 3 halves VO. So we can say this angle is uh, Inverse 10, the opposite side, 3 halves VO divided by the adjacent side, VO over 4. The VOs would cancel, and this will be inverse 10, 6, which gives us 80.5 degrees. Now that's east, this is south, so we can say this is direction is 80.5 degrees towards the south from the east. So this will be 80.5 degrees south of east. Of course, if you want to, you can also choose to find this angle right here. Of course, you'll find this angle to be 9.5 degrees. In that case, you can say the direction is 9.5 degrees, and that will be east of south, because it's towards east direction from the south. So this is the same as 9.5 degrees east of south. Usually, if you see a problem like this, the problem will specify whether you should answer the final velocity in terms of components 
or in terms of magnitude and the direction. So you know how you have to express the answer.